is our top story today. President Trump continues to face bipartisan criticism for claiming that both sides were to blame for the violence in Virginia. Facing numerous defections, the president disbanded two of his business advisory groups yesterday. Wednesday night, the head of the Democratic National Committee sent an email to the head of the Republican National Committee calling on Republicans to, quote, disavow President Trump now. The DNC chair says we are at a time when white supremacists see the president as their leader and fiercest defender. Following nationwide action to remove Confederate statues, a Confederate memorial in Helena is also coming down. The Helena City Commission decided its presence could cause violence like the kind seen in Virginia. The fountain sits in Hill Park and was commissioned over a century ago by the United Daughters of the Confederacy. It stands as a memorial to Confederate soldiers and has come under fire in the past. After a lengthy meeting, the commission gave directions to begin removing it. I believe that if the fountain remains in the park, there will likely be a confrontation where high emotions, coupled with strong beliefs, spill over into violence. And we do not need a violent event in our capital city. Though the decision has been made, the details on what will replace the statue remain to be seen. In Firewatch, this morning, more homes are being evacuated along the Lolo Peak fire line. The Missoula County Sheriff's Office says fire conditions present an immediate threat to people and homes along a stretch of Highway 12 and west of Highway 93. Deputies scrambled late into the night, going home to home, searching for anyone who may have slept through the evacuation. Those evacuating say they've been prepared to leave at a moment's notice. For now, they're putting their trust into firefighters and hopes they'll do what they can to protect their homes. 2017 is turning out to be one of the most expensive fire seasons in years, with the tab to fight the state's major fires surpassing the $100 million mark this week. Some eye-popping numbers show it costs $9.8 million to fight the lodgepole complex of fires in north-central Montana. The nation's largest wildfire so far this year, the 270,000 lodgepole complex started on July 20th. The catastrophic blaze destroyed 16 primary homes, numerous secondary structures, along with hundreds of miles of fencing and haystacks. McCone Electric lost more than 120 power poles. The cost to replace them is $480,000. BLM of Montana and Dakota's Chief of Communications, Al Nash, says the largest cost was for aerial support to fight the fast-moving flames. From bringing in air tankers and large helicopters to the cost of fuel personnel and resources, the bill adds up quickly. Turning to Crime Watch, a pair of convicts wanted in Butte are arrested in Billings after crashing a stolen van into a downtown building. Police say 20-year-old John English and 27-year-old Maxwell West walked away from the pre-release center in Butte on Tuesday night. The two suspects were serving time for drug crimes but now face several additional charges. Allen's tool repair shop at 5th Street and Cook Avenue sustained significant damage and a nearby shed was destroyed by the stolen van. Lieutenant Mark Cady says the suspects then tried to flee before police apprehended them. Cady tells Q2 he believes English and West stole a pickup truck near Big Timber before allegedly stealing the van in Billings. Both suspects are being held at the Yellowstone County Jail on possession of stolen property and obstruction charges. In other news, a traveling memorial for the 60,000 Americans who lost their lives in the Vietnam War arrives in Billings. The Wall That Heals is a half-scale replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. At 250 feet long, it travels across the United States, visiting more than 400 cities since it was unveiled in the 1990s. The traveling wall is set up at Will James Middle School, where it will be on display for a couple of days. This gives people an opportunity to come out and see the wall, and there's usually quite a few veterans around that will stop and answer questions and talk to the people. Uh, there are some that uh, can't handle it, and if they don't want to talk, don't force them, you know, just let them be. There will be a special opening ceremony for the Wall of Healing this morning at 10 o'clock. Well, we're just three days away from the end of Montana Fair, but before then, grab a friend and knock them off their feet with Knockerball. Even when I'm in a plastic bubble, I'm still afraid for my life. So, we're gonna bump, we're gonna run into each other. Am I gonna run into her? You're gonna run into her, <laughs> both of you. Okay. Take her, her bubble's bigger though. Well, she's the main anchor. <laughs> Come on! Oh my gosh! 
Yeah, this video is pretty embarrassing. It turns out Jenny Fick and I talk a big game, but just can't back it up. Knock your ball runs every night through 1130. It costs five dollars for five minutes of head over heels fun. The inflatable ball protects you from getting hurt and also gives you the option of doing other fun things like a somersault. It's open to all ages and they even have a smaller size ball this year so the younger kids can play too. Knocker Ball is located behind the sandstone building on the west side of the Montana Fair ground.